Hello there folks, this is my BMW E60 530XI. I just recently bought this uh, Bluetooth module off of Amazon and apparently it comes with no instruction and no, <laughs> no directions on how to put it in. So we're going to rip apart my dash and get it put into my car. Come along for the ride, we will see if we can make it happen today. Previously, I had uh, this aux cable wired in, and that was working fine for a few years. But now, all the new phones do not come with any sort of a headphone jack. So, uh, I'm going to try and put this Bluetooth module in. First, we are supposed to try to lever out our emergency and lock switch here. Hopefully, I can do it. Uh, unlock the door 17 times. There we go, we got it. It's got a nice little clip on the back that you can easily pull out. There we go. Next, we are starting at the end of my wood panel here. We're gonna try and get the whole panel off here. Oh, it's been a while since I did this. This has the vents hooked right into it. And as you can see, uh, these little pieces right here is all that's holding it in. It's just some these metal spikes here go into these guys. So uh, don't worry, you're not breaking it. You just got to be careful not to bend it too much so that it cracks. All right, I got a couple of Phillips screws right here and here. Now with those screws out, I need to put this flathead screwdriver here and just kind of ease this forward. There's four clips behind this. And we're trying to get them to detach. So you can elevate this like straight upward and it will detach from the wood panel below. Next, uh, let me get you up in here. Uh, I am going to be disconnecting all of these connectors. There's a blue one, there's a black one, there's another black one over here. Just a quick note on these two, you're going to want to push the little tab down on the top of them to get this kind of like switchy thing over and then it should pull right out after that. All right, so this bottom portion here, you can just pry back. It actually comes out with my, what is this, DTC. Oh, you can't really see it. It's a DTC button and the uh, buttons for heating the seats. So this has three plugs on it and I'll just remove those it's a pile of components all right next I'm doing these four screws at either end of the radio plate here and oh now this whole thing can come out <laughs> I may need to move the shifter knob. All right, so I'm just gonna turn the ignition on so I can move this. Pull this guy out. Oof. All right, didn't come out super easy. All right, so we're on the back of the radio here and we are going to be pulling this entire uh, harness out and now you will see that I have pulled out um, the top left corner, and that is this guy. Now, I previously already had my aux cable connected and put in here. I'm gonna get this a little further out, and I'm, I'm gonna be removing this 
uh, harness from inside the bracket so we can look at it closer. So a little module here, it has um, power and ground, which we're going to hook up uh, on the main harness. And then it's got, it's got a simple little three pin connector here. Unfortunately, I've already taken this out, uh, my radio has all kinds of extra systems and gadgets going into the same adapter that holds those three pins. You can see, uh, let me zoom in here, uh, my aux cable is coming into these three pins, the same three, do do do, on this one. So I can't just stick this in here because I got all these other systems. I don't know if that's navigation or maybe it's the steering wheel stuff. I'm not exactly sure, but it all needs to be there as well. So I actually have to use the adapter that's already in here. Uh, let's dive into connecting the power and ground first. And so I can get way zoomed in here. Holy cow. Okay, back up a little. All right. So on the main black harness there, whoa, <clears throat> that has all the big wires in it, uh, you see that purple and white one in the corner on the, um, let's see, right there, that purple and white one, uh, that is the accessory power. So we're going to do that to my red guy here. And then this brown one here is a main ground. So I'm going to do my blackish red one on this module to the brown one. Uh, I'm going to use tap connectors today. Not my favorite thing to do, uh, but we should be fine using these. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this car pretty soon. And I just, I mean, if I was really looking to use this for the next 10 years or something like that, I'd probably... Uh, splice it and solder it and all that so I'm sure I'll hear plenty of comments about how tap connectors are terrible so go ahead and leave the comments <laughs> all right so we got that tap connected there we got the power to the white and purple and uh, ground to the brown that is on this black area of the harness that doesn't come out like these other two pieces do. Uh, so white and purple is in the corner there. Brown is big and brown. You can't miss it. On my Bluetooth connector here, the side that has the arrow on it, uh, it's like the second from, I guess I'll hold it out here. It's the second from the last one on the arrow side. And then uh, the two in the corner on this side, but I'm going to need to keep them all straight because I'm I'm going to use a little a paper clip or a pin and push my previous aux connector out and replace those pins with what came from Amazon here. Oh, that's wrong. There, there's the arrow side. Looks like that one's actually open on this side. And then these two on the other side. <laughs> All right, let me try and get my previous aux cable out of here. I got a pin. This doesn't work. I might need a paper clip. Oh, oh, looks like it. They all just pulled right out there. Uh, unfortunately, not the greatest craftsmanship here. I was, I was pulling these out of of the windows by pushing them with a tack, and this one just like completely fell apart. Um, so I'm going to have to strip that one a little bit and put it back in there. Alright, it's so hard to totally show you, but, uh, there's kind of like a little guide rail on these guys, on these things, and that had to face outward. I actually had to get the camera out of the way because I had to get really in there with my eye and look at it. But I think we're set to go now. Alright, now we are putting it back into the... There we go. Back into the 
outer harness or something. Put it back into the main harness. So it looks like that. Put that back in the radio. I feel like this thing has to go up. Something's holding it. There we go. Alright, make sure everything's all pushed in there. There we go. Hey now, check that out. Got some power to the Bluetooth module. Oh yeah! That's exactly what I wanted to see. I'm gonna put this radio back up in here, but I'm not gonna screw everything back in yet until I can actually test that it totally works because you don't want to put your entire car back together and then find out the Bluetooth thing you just did doesn't work. I'm just gonna shove this back here to the left. There's kind of a cubby back there. All right, I just paired it on my phone and it was called Shuguo something or another. Um, we're on the Aux channel. All right, so it is working. be putting the dashboard back together and that is how you do it folks yeah <laughs>